Hello, beautiful and lovely people. Today we are doing cottage cheese kolachi or pastries. They are from Shek, the country called Shek. They are pastries. A warm welcome to new and returning subscribers and the new viewers as well. Thank you so much for coming through. Let's begin. So we're going to put the milk in a bowl, warm milk, yeast, and sugar. We stay. We cover the bowl and put it away in a warm place for five to six minutes. We're waiting for the yeast to proof or to bloom. We add the rest of the sugar, the vanilla essence or extract, and add an egg and stir again. We add salt, stir, and sift. Just a quarter teaspoon of salt to sift in the flour. I would like to appreciate you taking time to watch my videos. Thank you so much. Now we need for about five minutes. Or if you have a machine to knead, you don't have to do this physical job. Put in the butter and knead it until it incorporates well. Please check the description box for a list of ingredients or for more information. Now scrape the dough from the sides of the bowl and mix it in with the, with the other dough, the lump, the rest of the lump. Cover the bowl and put it in a warm place for about 90 minutes or until it doubles. I must do this. No fists. Go. Oh. <laughs> I'm doing it. Home. What's this? Oh, it's a hole. <laughs> now we cut the dough into balls or rolls you can cut it to up to 16 pieces it's up to you how many pieces do you want it can be eight it can be 12 pieces or 16 pieces and then roll those balls into round shapes and put them on uh, in a baking pan lined with a non-stick paper cover the rolls and rest them in a warm place for 20 to 25 minutes they will rise then make uh, indents at the center with a glass bottom as shown in the video now we're making a, fi a filling place the cottage cheese in a container it's a chunky ch uh, cottage cheese Add sugar, an egg, and vanilla essence. Best add an extract. Then you mix, whether you're using a hand blender or a hand mixer, whichever you have. Mix until everything is smooth. Fill the rolls and be careful not to overfill them. It's about one to two tablespoons each of the filling. Icing sugar 
just one tablespoon of icing sugar and vanilla essence i'll put a list of ingredients and measurements in the description box please check it out now brush the egg or brush the rolls with the egg just on the outer part of the roll careful not to brush at the center or any fruit like berries now we're making something called strusel we mix the flour with sugar and softened butter and mix with our hands to make crumbs sprinkle the strusel on the pastry we are aiming for the outer part of the pastry It's okay if it sprinkles at the center. Now we bake uh, our, our pastry at 170 degrees Celsius for 30 to 35 minutes or until they are golden. Look at them, how beautiful are they and the house. Oh, your kitchen will be smelling great. They are best eaten warm. Thank you so much for your time. And I hope to see you on my next upload.